Karen Bryant for MMA Heat. I'm here with Jake Ellenberger, who recently won at UFC 126 against Eduardo Hoka, right? Hosha. Hosha Hoka. It's just a fun name to say. How'd you feel about that fight? Uh, I'm glad it's over. You know, it was a rough one, but uh, you know, it, like I told, like I said earlier. Um, it's a, it was good for me, like in the future, you know, like it, it, for if you look like down the road, you know, it's good for me to get through those tough fights and you know, coming off losing the first round and then you know, really, really testing myself and uh, coming back, you know, come back through it such adversity and winning. So it's good, in, you know, for the long run, it's good for me. Yeah, well, they always say you lo you learn more from a loss. Luckily, you didn't lose that, but um, he did press you a little bit, and and, and you know, we're watching this going, mm, Jake, some stuff's not working for you right now, man. Yeah, he, you know what? He, you could tell he, he was he he studied me. He knew he knew what I was gonna do. You know, yeah. this guy's a wrestler. I'm gonna take his arm home. You know, I, he watched my videos. You know, right. but no, he, he's phenomenal on the ground. Um, he, you know, he, he pressured me a lot in the first round. So for really, for really, I came back in the corner and was like, I gotta I gotta pull it together. You know, I this, this, I knew he hadn't had a lot of experience in the later rounds. You know, so I had to you know find myself in there. You know, come back. I talked to Anthony Johnson about the GSP fight and Jake Shields and whether or not Jake was the right person to be challenging for the title yet. How do you feel? Oh my gosh. Oh. Um, I don't think it's going to be a good fight. That's my opinion. I think, yeah, I mean, GSP's, if you see the, some of the guys he's beat in the past, I don't know how Jake Shields is going to be, what he's going to bring to the table that's going to, you know, he's going to submit him. No, you're not. I don't, you know, you're going to take him down. No, you're not. You know, Josh Koshek didn't take him down. You're not going to take him down. Like, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be an interesting fight to watch, you no know, stylistically, but uh, I think you know GSP should win that fight with a jab and a yawn. So, man, wow. Do you think GSP should go up and wait? Are you looking forward to the super fight with with Anderson? Do you feel that that's something that he should do? As a fan, yeah. I mean, as a fan, that would be a that would be the fight to watch. You know, the the, the mega fight, the super fight. But uh, um, you know, it's just like the middleweight division, that's also a pretty pretty stacked division. Um. But I think you know GSP could probably compete in either one. You know he's definitely one of the, the pound for pound best fighter in the world right now. So it's really up to him. Speaking of, of stars and potential pound for pounders, what do you think when you watch John Jones versus Shogun? I mean, is John Jones a real deal? He is. That guy, he's amazing. Yeah. You know, and uh, I, I, I like him a lot. He's just I like how he carries himself. You know, he's he's really level headed. You know, we actually we actually hung out with him last night. Oh, yeah. yeah, me and Mark went up and saw him in uh, Hollywood. But uh, yeah. I ran into him last night too. Did you? Oh, cool. <laughs> you know, he's he's a great guy, but yeah, he's he's super athletic, and, and the guy, you know, he, he learns. He he's he's very he's very coachable, and he's very you can you can tell just by the way you know when you see him train and then see him fight. Like he's a smart fighter and uh, you know athletic. You know, he it's it's amazing what he's done at at his age. It kind of makes you weep a little, doesn't it? You're like, really seriously? Yeah, like these these guys don't come around very often, you know. And lastly, what do you think of the merger of Strikeforce and UFC? I'm still trying to understand what's going on. Yeah, I don't. I mean, Strikeforce has great fighters. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see, you know, like the the super fights they make. But uh, I'm still trying to like comprehend what what uh what to think of it, you know. I, I think it, 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 I think it could be a good thing for sure. Yeah. Well, anyway, I mean, you train with Strikeforce guys anyway. Mayhem's here all the time, so it's a, I mean, you know, it's always interesting because the fans maybe don't even appreciate that you guys are all mixed up together anyway and training each other. It's been like that forever. I know it. Um, yeah, that's that's because you know everyone's always in different organizations. You know, whether it's UFC, Strikeforce, the Bellator, or whatever. But yeah, you know, everyone kind of floats around. So it's it's cool to see you know your training partners, your buddies. You know, we can all fight in the same organization, but. Um, you know, I, I don't know what to say. Well, I lied, actually. It wasn't my last question, because now that does bring up the point, though. I mean, you know, Mayhem's not a welterweight anymore, but now you really might be fighting more of your teammates when you look at the John Jones-Rashad situation, um, that that now could become a precedent, and you really just might have to get in there and mix it up with your teammates. So does that, uh, you know, what's your take on that whole thing? You know what? I've, I've thought about that. That's a tough question to, to uh, answer, but uh, I've thought about it a lot in, like, you know what, guys spend their whole life training for a world title, and, and you know what, if I'm going to fight for a world title, I would fight my teammate, you know what I mean? Because we're not talking about just a fight to make a paycheck, we're talking about, you know, a credential of holding a world title. So, I mean, John Jones and Rashad are put in that situation, you know what, you're both at the top, and unfortunately you got to fight. So, and, and like, you know, when Mark, when Mark fought uh, Aaron Simpson, the same thing, you know, they're friends, and uh, they're going to fight, and then they're going to be friends afterwards, you know, it's business. So, but for me, like, personally, I wouldn't want to fight a teammate, but if it was for a world tri the world title, you better believe I'm going to fight him. Well, like Mark says, you just hug it out after and you're fine. Last question. Again, I'm saying last question, you see. Give me your predictions on Mark versus uh, Damian Maya. 
It's going to be a tough fight. Damien is ridiculous on the ground. He is. You know what? That's a interesting matchup. Um, you know what, Mark? I think Mark can definitely control where this fight goes on the feet and the ground. But uh, and he hits so hard. Oh, he's he's not fun to train with sometimes. But uh, <laughs> I mean, on the ground, like he's he's he throws a lot of power on the ground too. So you know, I can see Damien getting TKO'd in the first or second round. But uh, I I don't see uh, I, I see Mark winning that fight no matter no matter how long it goes. All right, Jake. Well, thank you. He's Let's very go. hard to submit too. I you know. We, yeah. He's a, he's a hard guy to, to submit. I mean, granted, Damien's name is one of the best guys, but uh, he's going to have a tough time for Mark. It's a bad matchup for him.